Well met, fellow traveler. Welcome to another Stories of Skyrim video. So make sure to stay tuned for some great stories from the Elder Scrolls lore. Let's get started. Remenada, Chapter 1, Sancrator and the Birth of Remen. And in those days the empire of the Cyrodiils was dead, save in memory only, for through war and slug famine and inquisitous rulers, the west split from the east, and the Clovia's estrangement lasted some four hundred years. And the earth was sick with the sundering, once were the western kings of Anvil and Sarchel, of Falkreath and Delodil became through pride and habit as like thief barons and forgot covenant. In the heartland, things were no better, as arcanists and false moth princes lay in drugged stupors, or the studies of vileness and no one sat on the throne in dusted generations. Snakes and the warning of snakes went unheeded and the land bled with ghosts and deepest holes unto cold harbors. It is said that even the Chim El Adabal, the amulet of the kings of glory, had been lost and its people saw no reason to find it. And it was in this darkness that King Hrol set out from the lands beyond Lost Twill with the story of questioning knights numbered 18 less one, all of them western sons and daughters. For Hrol had seen in his visions the snakes to come, and sought to heal all the borders of his forebearers. And to this host appeared at last, a spirit who resembled none other than El Ista, queen of ancient times, who bore in her left hand the dragonfire of Akatosh, and in her right hand the jewels of the covenant, and on her breast a wound that split void unto her mangled feet. And seeing El Estia and Kim El Abdaol, Kroll and his knights wailed and set to their knees and prayed for all things to become right. Unto them the spirit said, I am the healer of all men and the mother of dragons. But as you have run so many times from me, so shall I run until you learn my pain, which renders you and all this land dead. And the spirit fled from them, and they split among hills and forests to find her, all grieving that they had become a villainous people. Kroll and his shield Dane were the only ones to find her, and the king spoke to her, saying, I love you, sweet Elise, sweet wife of Shore and of Ariel, and the sacred bull, and would render this land alive again, not through pain, but through a return to the Dragonfire's Covenant, to join east and west and throw off all ruin. And the shield Dane bore witness to the spirit opening naked to his king, carving onto a nearby rock the words, and Hurl did love unto a hillock before dying in the sight of their union. When the fifteen other knights found King Hurl, they saw him dead after his labors against a mound of mud. And they parted each in their way, and some went mad, and the two had returned to their homeland beyond Twill, would say nothing of Hurl, and acted ashamed of him. But after nine months that mound of mud became a small mountain, and there were whispers among the shepherds and bulls. A small community of believers gathered around the growing hill during the days of its first churning, and they were the first to name it the Golden Hill, Sankrator. And it was the shepherdess, said Yenna, who dared climb the hill when she heard his first cry. And at the peak she saw what it yielded, an infant she named Remen, which is Light of Man. And in the child's forehead was a Kim El Adabal, alive with the dragon's fire of yore and divine promise. And none dared obstruct said Yenda when she climbed the steps of the white gold tower to place the babe Remen on his throne, where he spoke as an adult, saying, I am Cyrodiil, come. 
Thank you for listening to today's Story of Skyrim video. I hope you enjoyed. We're getting into some more interesting lore, I could say. Um, birthing a king from a mound of dirt is uh, interesting, to say the least. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and share the video with a friend who you might think enjoyed the series. And until then, may the sands of Akavir always be in your favor.